Jeremiah 23 begins with a warning to those who are leaders over God's people, those responsible for, in authority over, and anointed as shepherds to care for them. And here's what the Lord said, Instead of caring for my flock and leading them to safety, you have deserted them and driven them to destruction. Now I will pour out my judgment on you for the evil you have done to them. So those who were shepherds and stewards, those given the responsibility to care for and lead God's people, had failed. And God takes that very seriously. Paul, in his letter to the church at Corinth, said, Now a person who is put in charge as a manager must be faithful. In the book of James, the half-brother of Jesus shares a similar sentiment. Dear brothers and sisters, not many of you should become teachers in the church, for we who teach will be judged more strictly. So God says, judgment is coming for the leaders. But what about God's people? God also described his plan to bring them back into the land and make them fruitful and multiply them. He would give them responsible leadership. They would never be afraid again, and not one of them would be lost. How would this happen? Verse 5 has the answer. For the time is coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous descendant from King David's line. That's Jesus. He will be a king who rules with wisdom. Jesus. He will do what is just and right throughout the land. Jesus again. And this will be his name. The Lord is our righteousness. See, Jesus is our righteousness. When he takes away our sin, he imputes or he gives to us his righteousness. So here's what I hope you'll get from Jeremiah 23. God has a plan for his people. It's a good plan, and it's already been set in motion. This king who rules in wisdom has already come from King David's line, just as the prophet said. And one day, one day very soon, I believe, he's coming back again to rule in righteousness upon the earth. And his name, it's Jesus.